So this is my seventh time coming to Kenya. And the last two trips, I realized that I wanted to share this experience with other runners. I wanted to share it with my athletes. I wanted to share it with recreational runners, amateur runners, and everyone else out there. So I decided to create a company called Running Mecca. Running Mecca is under the umbrella of my Olympic coach, which is my main company. And the idea is to bring people to Kenya, show them around, show them the experience of training with Kenyans and spend a full week immersed in the Kenyan culture. First, I wanna say thank you to everybody, pacers, campers, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being part of this team, for being part of this camp, I appreciate it. This is a dream come true for me, so I am very thankful to each individual here. training every day but also doing a lot of other activities like going on a safari, going to meet uh, their families and just spending time around E10 and Kenya uh, I think is an eye-opening, uh, life-changing experience for everybody and that's the way it went. In this episode we're going to take a little break from Luis's training to go back and revisit the Running Mecca camp experience that we hosted for 12 athletes from all around the world. Okay, uh, this is for everybody, but Pacers need to pay attention. We're gonna do one hour run, 60 minutes. We're gonna go around and finish here. So in one hour or less, if, you're, if, if your Masungu wants to go less, you bring them back here at that time. So it doesn't matter where you go, you can run around, do loops, do a circle, out and back, but just finish here in one hour. It really is an experience like no other. Each camp participant gets their own pacer to run with for the duration of the camp. Over the course of the week, I watch the friendships grow between each and every camper, their pacers, and the group as a whole. I'm confident there is no better way to truly get immersed in Kenyan culture than to have a group experience like this one. Good run. That was fun. Whew. We did one hour easy, just showing the guys around and everybody's doing really well. So yes, far, so good. Yeah, and you, oh no, did you, you fall? fall? Yeah. Uh, down. I was thinking about it, somebody's gonna <laughs> fall today. Yeah, he he like to be the be before run. Uh, but are you okay? Me. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Okay. I'm still warm, so let's see. Yeah, yeah. You should stretch it out a little bit so like ice and stuff. Woo! Good job. Good. Good job, guys. Oh, How was it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's part of the experience that you see why the people here are the best runners in the world is because they train in places like this and then when they go run in Berlin where it's sea level, it's flat, it's perfect, they can run super fast. It makes you stronger and then they've been doing it since they were little kids. I'm a little sad that school is out because usually when we do this run there's thousands of kids running around it's kind of like running boston yeah. but instead of people it's kids, kids, kids so i'm a little sad about that but whatever next time hopefully um so i want to finish with four short strides of 15 seconds the way we do this is because you know when you do an easy run like today you finish and you're like all right i could go back to bed but if you do your strides you wake up your body you start moving your system you work on your running form we usually do on Mondays a uh, heel strike, but here let's just do it here. Just be very careful with the rocks. It doesn't have to be fast. It's just a way of moving progressive and moving your body a little faster than what you did in the run. Uh, don't pull a muscle, don't race. Simply progressive, faster. 15 seconds to 20 is good. And I think we can all do it as a group or like in two lines and then just run that way. Is everybody okay. cool with that? Yes. While this is a running camp, it's not all about running. Each afternoon, everybody had free time to explore the town of E10. Today, we went to check out the market day. Yes, 30, 30, 30. Yes, 30, 30, 30. 
I will never forget this in my life, I swear. What is it? 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 Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we took the bus. Sounds like a... We call it a neck. Oh, yeah. Cameron. Will you take Cameron? Will you test it? No, we have the Marino. We call it the Marino. Will you take it? Can I take a video? Will you test it? I can taste it. Okay. How do I eat it? How do I eat it? Uh, what we're doing today is a little bit of mobility, just a 15-20 minute shaker, more like a warm-up more than anything, so we can do the drills and exercises and feel good about it. If you want to put a lot of effort into your long run tomorrow and prefer to rest, that is fine too. Uh, that's an option. If not, 15 minute, 20 minute shake out and then we're going to do drills and some exercises and that's about it. So Rainbow, can you tell us a little bit about this place? I sure. Good evening everyone. Hi. I'm here to see you once again. So you are all welcome here. This is Kamari. This village is called Kamari and uh, this forest is Kriptinka forest is connected with the other one on the other side the one you call last time so this is where we normally come for evening shake out or evening run most best elite athletes normally come here especially from monday to friday on, on a saturday where you cannot find most of them because it's an half day today so we normally came here over the evening hours to shake because it's a soft crown and if you have an injury or you feel like your muscle is a bit tired you come over here because you're soft crown and it's very cool because you see you are going inside the forest, inside the trees, and you are doing some loops. Sometimes we normally do our preparation for cross country. We have a loop for 1.4 kilometers, going that way, something like a zigzag. So we normally prepare, at least normally prepare for world cross country, a major races over here. So it's a nice place. So enjoy, feel free, feel at home. You are all welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's do a little bit of mobility. The same thing we did this morning, just quick. Okay. And then <coughs> jumping yes. We can start. <laughs> What do you think of the forest? Amazing. The sound of the shoes touching the ground. It's great. The rocks. So if they, 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 they In these camps, we work and train our bodies a lot. Like yesterday, today, we work aerobic, anaerobic, we work muscle, skeleton system, everything, everything, everything. But sometimes we forget to work the mind. And the mind, I think, it's as important or sometimes more important than your than training your body so I like to always do some exercises uh, some of them are just focusing on if I have a race coming soon uh, thinking about that race if I'm doing something that I'm doing wrong how can I fix it if something is hurting why is it hurting what can I do to make it better if I have to be patient things like that 
So we are a big group. The thing I want to do right now is uh, gratefulness, where you just think about one thing. I mean, you can think of a hundred things, but just say out loud one thing that you're grateful for. It can be anything. It can be that your parents are still alive. It can be that you're happy to be here. It can be that you met somebody cool today. It can be anything. It can be pancakes if that's what you're grateful <laughs> for. So you have 20 seconds each person to say what you're grateful or even if it's just a word. That's it. That's cool. Um, I'm going to start. I'm very grateful that you guys are here and in this camp with me. It's a big responsibility for me, but I'm taking it very seriously. And I'm very grateful that you guys trust me and trust us, uh, Nate and my company and Debbie and Rainbow, that you trust us, you know, and you're here, you, come, you came all the way to Africa. So I'm thankful, I appreciate it, and thank you for being here. Good. Hola, buenos días. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien, bien. 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 Bien, what do they got going on today, please? Uh, we're going to Moivin Road, long run, two hour long run, out and back. So everybody seems to be in good spirits this morning. It's perfect weather again, so let's get it done. You guys feeling ready for the long run? Yes. Ready, let's go. Woo! First long run at altitude. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ready? Ready? One, two, three. Let's go, go boy. Go. Okay. David, okay. let's go, friend. Vale, vale. Vale, vale. If you think this running experience is cool, uh, I am inviting you all to join us in our running mecha camp in Kenya. We are having a one week training camp with 12 people where we're gonna do a bunch of cool activities like safaris, motorcycle tours. Uh, we're gonna share and experience how Kenyans live while at the same time getting good quality training. These camps are open to people of all ability levels from the beginner to the sub elite athlete. So if you're interested, feel free to send me a message. Uh, you can send me an email or go to our website runningmecha.com to see all the information about the upcoming camps. But it will be pretty cool to have you. I'll be there with you every step of the way and you'll have a personal pacer to train with you every day. So it's gonna be a life changing experience for sure so just send me a message and let's make it happen runningmaker.com it was very good first time tell me first time i did almost i did 26 k and uh 440 440 yeah it was, was very it hard? Good. It was hard. I make that recovery. Then I come back. It's very good. The way back is it's very, very easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I think this is what you are talking about yes. yesterday. Yeah. It was very awful. Yeah. I'm tired of it. That's why when I got to 30k, I'm like, I'm yeah. ready. I'm <laughs> Simon, how was it? Pretty good, man. Hard. What? Good. But it makes me work, man. I know. It's pretty good. Did you run progressive or was that too uh, hard to do? It was too hard. We need yeah. to kill it. Now you hard. Yeah, same here. I had your 4 or 6 days. Oh, I'm happy to be 29k. I am in for 30, 29.22, so I'm here. 29.2? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you did that. Good first long run. You were fast, bro. You were fast. fast. <laughs> I know. You were so fast, bro. I know. I was like, you tried what to the? Yeah, I'm back in All right. Uh, solid day, solid long run, no incidents. Looks like everybody worked really hard, everybody got the miles in, and everyone got the experience in. That's what we're here for. So I'm very proud of you guys. These first three days, you guys have worked really hard, you have been having fun, and been getting the experience, like we were saying, with all your senses. You gotta see it, you gotta smell the place, hear the noises and the sounds. 
because it's not just running, it's learning, it's sharing, it's having a good time here. And I think everybody so far is doing really, really good, so congrats. Uh, today is definitely a hard day. I got 30K, some people got a little more, some people got a little less. And so everybody's gonna go home and rest. Uh, and pacers, yeah, have breakfast. <laughs> pacers, you have the day off for today. And then tomorrow we get back to it at 6.30. And then campers today chill, and at 3.30 we're gonna go do a little tour, which is very chill. Uh, there's a little bit of hiking involved, so take your hiking That's shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little surprise in the tour. Um, but let's go have breakfast, Yay. take a shower, rest. Thank you. Motorbikes are one of the primary transportation methods in Kenya, second perhaps only to matatus, the vans that you see everywhere. Not only are the motorbikes economical and practical, they're also a ton of fun. We took the group on a little tour of the countryside to soak in some more of the views while also giving their tired legs a break. Perhaps this is a good place to teach you a little bit of Swahili. Those who are not native to Kenya are called Mzungus, a term that you may have heard mentioned earlier. On my first trip out there, it was defined to me as a white person, but on this trip, I learned there was actually a little more to it than that. It actually translates closer to traveler and is meant in an endearing way. Kenyans are very proud of their country, and the fact that a Mzungu would take the time and effort to come and visit and experience their world means a lot to them, and many people we passed would smile, wave, and shout Mzungu! Many children we passed on the road would turn and quickly run inside to tell their families of the rare sighting they just had. Iten is a place of stunning beauty. It's situated above the cliffs of the Rift Valley, which give it that extra elevation that helps so much with endurance training. As we descended down into the valley, we gained a greater perspective as to just how high those cliffs are. We had a special surprise for the group at the end of a short hike up to the base of the cliffs. But when we got there, we discovered that the waterfall had run dry. We were there at the tail end of the dry season, so the flow had not yet started. It was all good though. Everybody had fun and still got to see a lot of beautiful scenery. Yeah, you remember me? Hi, welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Today we're doing an easy run, starting from here. Uh, we're, some people are gonna do pavement road. They need to stay on flat. Some people are gonna go on the dirt. So we're gonna be kind of separate. And then everyone finishes here in one hour. So it doesn't matter where you go, where you end up, you have to be here in one hour, okay? This camp truly is an experience designed with everyone at every skill level in mind. Each person was always able to modify any run to fit their own ability level and have their own pacer with them the whole time. Each day, we ran a different route to see more of the countryside. that I do two or three times a week. They're pretty much always the same. The same thing I've been doing since I was 12 or 13. So they're very important to master. I wanna practice them today, so tomorrow when we're at the track, we know them and we look good while we're doing, doing that. That's the most okay? important thing. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's all right. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, progress it, progress it. 
We host our camps at the High Altitude Training Center because they have everything you might need there. Each day, there are three meals served, as well as snacks, tea, and chapati, so there's plenty of food available. The rooms are clean and comfortable, each one with its own private bathroom and shower. The center also has a gym, a sauna, massage therapists on site, and even a pool. We are somewhere outside of Eldoret in Viola's, uh, her mother-in-law's house. She's a Maasai Mara and they wanted to show us and share with everyone. Uh, so they have a little nice farm here with a beautiful home with their family members and I think we're gonna have some chapati. So what do you think of this place? It was, it's awesome. The farm is beautiful. They grow kale and tomatoes and lots of herbs. Um, and it's, it was an amazing, it's just an awesome experience to actually be in the rural area of Africa. I did not think that was going to be part of yeah. <laughs> our uh, running camp, but it's awesome. Yeah, because like the idea is for them to experience the daily life of an actual Kenyan, not just to come here and run. So yes, we're running a lot, but also I want them to see everything and explore and get lost and experience the actual Africa Kenya experience. So I think yeah. we're doing that. No, we definitely did. Good. Check that off the list. <laughs> yeah, we have a track workout tomorrow, so we're gonna do an easy shake out run here and then head back to the camp so we can get ready for that track workout tomorrow. Yeah. It's a blessing to us. We are very happy having you around our home. Most welcome when you come to Kenya, come here. You are, your home is here. Thank you. you come here anytime, you are free to come here. Come and see your mama, she's still here. It's growing old and old. <laughs> so you are all welcome. Feel blessed. We love you so much. Thank you for watching part one of the Running Mecca training camp experience. Part two will come out next month where we pick up with a track day. We also visit one of the Pacers homes where we learn to make ugali, the corn based staple in their diets. We also go on a safari, run through a magical forest, and join up with a 100 person fartlek. So stay tuned. Yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs>